welcome back to my vlog. It is the Monday before Christmas. I came to that realization today, so kind of losing my mind over it. Like Christmas Eve is on Sunday. I have quite a bit to do before the holidays and everything, so I wanted to start a new vlog. I posted my first December vlog yesterday. If you guys haven't watched that, you should. I'm experiencing the same dilemma as the last vlog. I still don't know how to curl my hair. I'm gonna use a smaller iron this time and see if that makes a difference. Okay, smaller iron definitely works better. I think that makes sense and it's like so much shorter. Okay, here's my hair. We're getting better, we're getting there. I'm waiting for Lauren, he's giving us sweet green. I order sweet green like three times a week. I'm gonna show you guys what I get. I get the same bowl every time. Also, he's grabbing me a package. Hopefully, it's for a brand that I need to film for before Wednesday. It's my last collab of the year, so I wanna get that done. And we also need to go to Target. I wanna get some cleaning supplies, face lotion, also some stuff to wrap gifts because all of our gifts are just sitting under the tree in like the package that they got delivered in. I feel like this week before and the week after Christmas is just so weird like time doesn't exist and it feels really weird like i'm not really working but i am i don't know so that's what we're doing today i'm wearing this really cute turtleneck from birch girl if you haven't heard of birch girl it's an australian brand it's my favorite i actually did my own little collection with them like two years ago and i just love their stuff it's like always unique i told you guys how my mom orders all of our gifts on amazon and they usually come wrapped but mom if you're watching this i'm sorry but the mixer did not come wrapped and i'll have to wrap it but she got me a little mixer a hand mixer since i've been baking more okay here's my order i do i create my own with arugula and quinoa and these are all the toppings you have to get the crispy rice because it's so good. Buffalo Caesar. Buffalo Caesar. That's what I used to get. We actually had our first date at Sweet Grain. Our first regroup. Switched into lighter jeans. I feel like this makes it look a little beachier and it's more comfy. <laughs> We just went to this tea shop in La Jolla, Peru, and got some matcha for a gift. And I also got this chamomile latte. It's like blue. It's so cool. Yeah. You guys, Lauren keeps scaring me today. So he's locked out. You're not getting in. I was so scared. I thought someone was gonna. Did you like the little pit of pat? Yeah! This is the epitome of Christmas when you're older. I'm literally wrapping a dustpan <laughs> for myself. Because well, Lauren threw away our little brush for our dustpan, so we don't have one. A luxurious broom and dustpan set. <laughs> Guys, I'm the worst wrapper. It's always the edges that give it away. Okay, I'm gonna make some tea. I don't have any peppermint tea, so I think I'll do ginger. This is my little tea basket. I need to organize it, but we have so much tea. I'm gonna make ginger, but I'm gonna edit the vlog and then shower and get ready for bed and I want to read I have my headphones on <laughs>
I'm gonna shower, take off my makeup. I got that moisturizer today that I told you guys. This is my favorite moisturizer ever. This and their hydrating cleanser is the best combo. My hair almost fits into a ponytail. That was the worst part about cutting my hair is that I couldn't wear my hair up. I love wearing my hair up, especially for workouts. It drove me crazy, but I'm gonna shower. You guys, I made a smoothie and I can't get this thing off. Lauren's at the gym, so I don't know. I might have to wait. Okay, I wasn't being dramatic. <laughs> Did I break it? It looks like a lot of liquid bubble. I know you like it liquid. -y. Okay guys, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All brains, no bronze. Use science to open it. Used hot water to expand the plastic. And now I'm gonna have a hot smoothie. A hot smoothie. But you know, now she knows. I don't really know how that happened. Yeah. We just checked the mail and Sundays, the furniture brand that sent us the couch, sent me like a little holiday card. How sweet is that? It's so cute. I just had to show you guys, I got this package from Clarence with their double serum and their lip oil. Look at my lips, they're so pink and pretty. A lip oil. They're gonna be so pink. I feel like this is the perfect sugar plum fairy lip color if you're looking for something like that. But I've just been honestly laying in bed. I'm like so tired. I woke up craving a breakfast burrito even though I'm not eating eggs and I ate half of a breakfast burrito from our favorite place and just immediately felt horrible like I was getting a headache and my stomach hurt and I've just been like really bloated all day and just feeling kind of gross but I've been looking at recipes and I really want to make chocolate covered dates you guys have probably seen them like stuffed with peanut butter and almonds it's supposed to be like a Snickers so that's what we've been up to Lauren's been working I've just been <laughs> kind of lazy since I worked out and like did everything else. I've just been lazy. I need to ship a Poshmark package. Actually, I'm gonna put together the Poshmark package because we're gonna go to the grocery store right next to the post office. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm making Lauren tea also, and I wanted to show you guys this mug I made. I made it with a collab for CVS Photo, but it has all of our film photos. Okay, let's make these dates. All you need are almonds, peanut butter, or almond butter, and then I got dark chocolate and coconut oil to melt, and the dates. Okay, now I'm adding peanut butter. This is kind of messy. <laughs> okay, now I'm adding an almond in the middle. And, like stuff it in there. 
This is our favorite dark chocolate brand. This is the one I eat like every night. I really love their cashew vanilla one. It's so good. Just adding chocolate and some coconut oil. Okay, I moved them to some tin foil because we're gonna put them in the freezer and I also need to do the dark chocolate and that's gonna be messy. I feel like anytime I try to show you guys how to do anything, it's like very chaotic. This is also my first time doing this, so this isn't really a tutorial. I'm just like bringing you guys along. We're just gonna drizzle the chocolate. <laughs> no technique here. Growing up, my mom would always make chocolate covered pretzels and like all these random little sweets around Christmas. I was telling Lauren, like, I do not feel like I'm in the Christmas spirit whatsoever. I really want to make cookies when we spend our Christmas together. I need to get stuff for that. But this is kind of putting me in the Christmas spirit because it's like, it's baking. I wish I had like flaky salt because that'd be perfect and it'd look a lot cuter. But it's fine. <laughs> Am I doing too much salt? Okay. Let's try that one. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared it's gonna be hot. Is it? Uh -huh. Is that good? Mm hmm. No. Here we go. I was just in the shower and Lauren is trying the dates. These are so good. Wait. <laughs> Wait for me. You have one right now. I'm naked. <laughs> I'm literally in a towel. This is... Okay, wait, no. You're not eating all of them. I just want one more. Here's how the dates turned out. I'm gonna keep them in the fridge, but they're really good. This was so easy. I always get asked about my little pencil pouches that I have and one of the girls that I get mine from sent me one and sent me a little holiday card. So sweet, so cute, I love the red. You guys will not believe what happened in the past 24 hours. It doesn't even sound real. I had like... I obviously have an egg intolerance because I had half a breakfast burrito, as I told you guys. I woke up that night at like 2 a.m. with cramps. Finally, after like taking a bath at 2 a.m., I finally fell asleep. I woke up and I still had cramps. I was basically in bed all day yesterday, just feeling horrible. I was going to go to the ER. And then I finally started to feel better at like 4 p.m. So I came to the conclusion that I will never eat eggs again. I'm pretty sure I've just developed an egg intolerance or an egg allergy in my adult life. Like I've never heard of that. But I looked it up and everything looked like that's what it was. It's just so weird. Like I've never heard of anything like that. And I'm someone who I've eaten eggs every single day, like for my whole life. And... I decided to take them out just to see if that would help and it obviously did but I just crave it I love eggs I love burritos I love egg sandwich like just thinking about not eating eggs for the rest of my life is so sad but I cannot do that to myself like I understand if you have a allergy or if you're allergic to like gluten dairy I get it now because it's not worth it so that's why I didn't vlog yesterday. I was literally in bed all day. And now it's Thursday and I just got ready. Try to make myself feel better. We don't have any plans really. I kind of want to do some more Christmas shopping. Just get some stuff done. I'm feeling better. My stomach's just like a little sore. But I feel better and I, I want to vlog. I feel like this vlog was off to a good start. And <laughs> yesterday I just... Yesterday was not my day. I really need to get some stocking stuffers for Lauren. I need to finish Christmas shopping. 
if you live with your boyfriend how do you guys like keep it a surprise how do you do christmas shopping because i just feel like in my adult life i want to buy people things that they want and we also we only have one car right now shut up look how cute this is i love this and then i could put this on my camera put it on my other one was kind of heavy it would make my tripod like sway but i love having like a little hand thing We just went back to Rica Fica, which is this so it's so cute. It's just like a coffee shop bakery. They have really good matcha. But I got their hojicha choco, is what it's called. It's like hot chocolate with hojicha, which is like matcha. I'm gonna ruin that, but it tastes so good. It's like really unique. Uh, a single origin cold brew. Yeah, like he really likes the ice cold cube. Brew. It's really potent. But we're gonna go do some more Christmas shopping mm -hmm. for his family and then I need to go to Sephora because my makeup is not makeuping today and I'm running out of foundation and I need to get a lighter foundation because winter has arrived. I went to Sephora. They didn't have the bronzer I wanted. I wanted to try the Westman Atzel I don't know how to say it. Atzler bronzer, but they didn't have it at that Sephora. So I just got a restock of my favorite foundation. I just ran out of my shade. So I went a shade lighter because obviously winter. But I'm gonna do an everything shower because I just feel so gross. Like my makeup feels really cakey. It's just not. That's not it. So I'm going to shower and do all my skincare. And then I want to deep clean the apartment. And I need to wrap the rest of Lauren's gifts that I got. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I have everything showered my skincare now i'm gonna do some deep cleaning because i usually do it on sunday but we're gonna be in laguna for christmas for christmas eve so i'm gonna do that today and i'm gonna have some gingerade tea i posted about my egg issues yesterday on my instagram story and i got like 60 responses of people who have the same egg allergy so if you are also in that boat we're not alone. A lot of people said it had to do with like the proteins and eggs somehow. Really interesting. And apparently allergies come like in seven year cycles. So maybe in seven years I'll be able to eat eggs again and all will be well in the world. But as for now, I'm going to avoid them at all costs. Okay, I got my tea. Time for a deep clean podcast session. Let's do it. basics basically you get the concentrate and then it mix it with water and you can have glass spray bathroom spray and it's clean enough for hand soap so i also use this to wash my makeup brushes so i'm going to fill this up and do that <laughs>
gifts I attempted a bow and then this one is like a little Tootsie Roll Get your drink Guys, this is my favorite gift that Lauren got me. It's a positive potato. I feel like all of my gifts describe me very well. Plotty socks, a positive potato. I'm so excited to try this almond and vanilla body butter. And then the book that I've been reading with highlighters. What is your favorite gift? Wallet I gave you oh, and then the book. Oh, a month a ago. <laughs> Wait, show them the book. Yeah, this is my basic I like getting each other a book every Christmas. That'd be cute. That would be cute. Okay, Merry Christmas, guys. It is Christmas Day. I wanted to include today in the vlog just to end it out. I wanted it for my own memories, and I thought it'd be cute to share. So we had our little Christmas this morning, and then we're going to the movies. We're starting a Christmas tradition, even though we've literally never been to the movies together. Like, we've actually been dating a year and a half, and we've never been to the movies, but that needs to change. I love going to the movies. I just feel like there hasn't been anything good out lately. I have on my comfies for the movie. We have sweatpants, and then we're going to come home, and I have makeup on because we have dinner with his dad later, so... That's the plan. I know most people don't post the week before the new year, but I want to do a video like planning and prepping for the new year. So you can expect that video the day of or the day before New Year's.